Bonjour my beautiful internet. So today I just wanted to do a quick vlog of you guys. I have just got my first ever pair of glasses and they're only reading glasses. I was just wearing them to show you guys that I have glasses. Uh, I don't really like this pair particularly. I have another pair which are like smaller frames in zebra print but they're not so easy to see out of and now I can't see a thing because I actually don't feel that I need glasses but when I put these on I can I don't see better but I see like I don't know really annoying things like pores on people's faces and I'm just like I can see everything and everything seems to be a lot brighter but um I can actually read without the glasses on there for reading like a really small prescription um but they do make my eyes water when I take them off for some reason. Kind of the readjustment situation. Um, if you see, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me with like one crazy big pupil and one crazy tiny pupil because my eyes are kind of fair. And it was a really sunny day um, in September, and we've been really lucky this year, and I've had like really hot weather throughout the autumn months like September and October so we've only just had the first week or so of rainy drizzly weather but it's still kind of like do I wear a coat do I not wear a coat not really sure kind of weather um but anyway I digress I had this like giant pupil on this side and a small pupil on this side and my eyes go really small in the sunlight like my pupils like and I can't see a thing in the sunlight so you quite often see me wearing sunglasses even in winter because I don't know I just my eyes are really fair and all the light just blinds me and the reason why I went to the opticians in the first place because obviously I don't feel like I can't see anything because I don't need glasses to read I can read perfectly fine um, I was getting like this I've still got it but it's like a floaty thing in front of my eyeball and it's apparently a sign of a detached retina so I had to go to the op I went to the GP first and um, he's just told me to go to the optician so I went to the optician and of course they told me that I needed glasses so 120 pounds later two pairs of glasses and you know all the eye test and the giant pupil later I have a couple of pairs of reading glasses that I don't ever really use unless I've remembered to use them because I don't really need them but there you go that's life I actually have used them a bit at work because they have the fluorescent lights and for some reason fluorescent lights make me get headaches and I just figured like if I'm straining my eyes at work using the fluorescent lights maybe then that's the best time to use the glasses and it has helped I haven't had as many headaches at work but I'm still kind of trying them out anyway let me tell you a secret, having pets is a really difficult thing to do with your life because although we've had the problems with the rabbits, that's not all, we also had the some problems with our geckos because although they're both female leopard geckos who aren't supposed to fight, they started fighting about a year and a half ago so we went on free cycle and we got a new tank and we divided that down the middle with a board, it's a huge tank and they've both got enough room on their side but we went out to a comedy club and we came home and they'd literally got into each other's side of the tank and I don't know I think it was Mustard got into Cress's side but I came home to a scene of utter carnage which I'll show you here if you follow my Instagram sorry I'm keeping my eye on the gecko if you follow my Instagram you would have seen this picture already but I came home and I was like I'm not sure I'm seeing this right but one of the geckos doesn't have a tail because some of you may know that geckos when they are scared or threatened um, drop their tails so this scene I came back to was of mustard dropping her tail so as you can see she's got a stumpy little end of her tail right there and she's so warm because she's been in the I'm not sure if it hurts her so I don't really poke the end of her tail um, but she seems quite happy like generally so we're just making sure she gets plenty of food at the minute um, and they always look really happy look at her smiley face 
Hello, little girl. She's so cute, but it looks really strange because I usually have this really fat tail, and I don't know. It just seems really. Oh, sorry, I touched it. Oh no, I'm sorry. She moved really quick. Obviously, it hurts. It's probably really stingy, actually. You know, like if you cut your finger or you burn yourself. If you burn yourself and the skin's like raw, um, it probably feels like that. I reckon. I don't know. She's also got like a scar on her head where the other gecko attacked, but the cage was full of blood. The skull ornament that we have in the cage was like knocked over, moved around. So they obviously had this epic battle and we were only out for like four hours at maximum. And they were fine before we went out because we always check them before we go out or before we go to bed. It just seems to be really... It's just really strange that it happened because... They used to live together, you know. I'm glad that we separated them when we did, because this would have happened, you know, probably could have been a lot worse than just her losing her tail. And I'm going to put you back now because you're getting cold, aren't you? Bye. What else am I doing? I don't know what else I have been doing recently. But I do, 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 I know I keep telling you guys this, plan on making more videos in time. I just, everything in my life, I don't know if it's just me, I just seem to absorb, I'm like a magnet for like problematic things happening, like becoming homeless for two months because my house sale was taking forever and it's just, uh, I just seem to be that sort of person that's always got something going on in their life, like oh this is happening, oh that is happening, and I just... I don't know, I just feel ill 24-7 at the minute. I keep getting migraines, it's really annoying. But hopefully now that I've got the um, glasses that that will stop. But who knows, and I will be back with some videos. I have some pre-recorded videos that I just need to... Well, basically what happens is I record my videos and then I go through the editing stage and then I go through the anxiety stage and then the anxiety stage I just press the delete button but I have got a few pre-recorded videos that I just need to edit and not go through the anxiety stage and just upload them because I actually don't actually care if people don't like what I post because they can just look elsewhere it's just it just doesn't bother me that much but then my anxiety voice kicks in and it's like oh nobody likes what you post on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and it's just I need to tell it to shut up sometimes. Just shut up. You may also have noticed that I have had some changes to my hair. Those of you that follow me on Instagram would have seen that I have reshaved this side of my head and I still have some of the short bits like from where it went disastrously wrong when I used to shave it. Um, and I've also been taking the black colour out of my hair. So up the top here I have some of my own colour and it's going into like this ready sort of auburny colour into dark chocolate brown it's not black I still have one more colour remover pack to use um, you're allowed to use three at any time um, I have one more I've done two already and that was a couple of weeks ago I have done a review video of the product um, Overall, I'd say at the minute that I quite like my hair the way it is. I'm not sure when I want to do the third one, but I might do it, you know, soon. I might even do it tomorrow, actually. I don't know. We don't know. And I've also stopped dyeing my eyebrows because my hair is no longer black. So it's, they're now my natural colour. I've actually got some eyebrow product in today that I got a sample from Sephora. But I don't know if I like it. I don't know. You tell me. Do you like it? I don't know. I don't really know how to use it. I just paint my face whatever colour I feel like at the time. So, yeah. That's changes in my life. I do like the shaved look for me. And it's also really cute if you can wear some earrings on this side. And you can kind of like wear the dangly ones on this side. And have your hair plaited on this side. And just wear normal earrings. I'm kind of in the process of putting my proper um, ear, like earring hoop thingies in, like the grab ball ones, but they're really painful so I've just had the earring in not the ball because I can't stand doing it myself. I'm going to go to the piercing shop and get them to do it because it's kind of like 
they could probably do it without so much trauma as me going ah, 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 with the pliers and because I've already traumatised myself so much recently with this nose piercing because I keep knocking it out when I wash my face and it is the most painful thing if you're not used to putting the screwball ones because this is like a it's not like the one with the ball on the end it's this is my first one so it's a thicker stud but it's like the curly one and you have to twist it a certain way oh it's so painful because it just I was twisting it the wrong way for like an hour and I was like hysterical and I was crying and my neighbours probably thought there was like an axe murder going on it was just horrendous and I was really regretting getting my nose pierced at that time but at the moment I I really like the nose piercing so I don't regret it but at the time I was really regretting having knocked it out and having had the piercing in the first place because I thought ah, £30 of my own money ah, and all of that so guys do what you want with your piercings but I'm just saying sometimes they really hurt I've also been changing over my persona from silly little troll bit because Facebook stopped letting me use the name Troll as my middle name so I decided because of the whole bad connotations of the word Troll in on the internet I just decided to go away from that name completely I still collect Troll dolls and things but I'm just not going to use the name anyway my friend slash sworn brother Svein decided to um, I asked him to draw me an avatar for my YouTube account and for my Twitter account so he drew me the outline of this which I have begun colouring in which is like a cosmonaut troll and he's given me a little badge that says Tassa which is cute, it's kind of in, in runes as well but I haven't finished colouring it in because these are f um, my ink tense pencils I've done like the basic colouring I'm going to go and jazz it up later, finish it off I'm going to bid you all goodbye it's been wonderful talking to you guys again and hopefully I will get through the editing stage for the other videos that I've pre-recorded and I will upload them and I promise that I will be around at least every two weeks hopefully every week now I'm going to push myself to be here every week so I will speak to you all guys soon so bye